Aloha, everybody, and welcome to this superhero edition of my girlfriend's binder and a beer. So today, we're going to be talking about some Marvel cards and some old Marvel cards, some 1966 Don Russ Marvel cards. So what this is right here is a wax pack from that 1966 Don Russ uh Marvel first starter pack. So it was like the first appearances of Spider-Man, Captain America, and all that. So they had like 66 card set. And what would happen is they had full boxes, would have 24 packs, right? Hold on, I'm just clearing. The 24 packs in each pack would be five cents a piece. Back in 1966, you had these little wax packs coming in at five cents a piece. And so, they would put this piece of gum, as you can see, like there's like a piece of gum underneath there, right? And so your first card, like if we were to open this, which we're not doing, definitely not opening this, but we have the cards in here, so you will see the cards. But this is the only sealed pack that we could find. And apparently the dude who has these only releases one pack every five to seven years. So these things are actually really hard to come by. So the, the, the gum will actually leave a mark on the front of your card and your front card would be pretty much ungradable kind of thing. You know what I mean? Back then they didn't really have that, but you know what I mean? It would still be damaged over time. So that is the five cent wax pack that you would get. So with no further ado, we are going to get right into these cards. So this is in order right through one through 66. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, the back of the pic, the back of the cards actually have a picture which comes out to be like Spider Man and Captain America and Thor and all that. But we unfortunately are not pulling the cards out of these out of the binder to do that. But I'm just kind of gonna go through, show you these cards. I mean, they had like Nazi symbols up on on the on the cards in 1966. I mean, you couldn't even do that today. Like, if you did that today, I mean, like, this is pieces of history right here. I mean, like, it's pretty crazy to actually see. So, in this set, they had 14 cards with a write-your-own little situation. So, you could literally, like, write your own little comment, like, for what people were doing. I think I actually have a couple here. Like, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. So, like, this one, whoever had this wrote hit, wrote a little something. A little bit of raveling music sam <laughs> you know what i mean so that's and then you'd see that the the back of the cards would have like different parts of this picture so here is somebody kind of wrote on that or kind of left something on there so we kind of completed the set with more better cards and we have a couple off the side that are not part of the set but this set is actually more of the complete nice nice set and so this appearance right here is the first appearance of Spider-Man as far as like a trading card or anything goes. So next time I'll fly the kite as they're all tangled up in the web. So, I mean, it's pretty cool to see like Daredevil. You got him. I mean, you, there's like a whole storyline. He, he still thinks he's in the circus. But wait till I turn the antenna and then you could write your own. You know what I mean? And then I didn't know you had a game room how's this for a finish right and then you would write your own finish to the whole daredevil situation so that was a cool part about this whole 1966 don rest cards i mean like look at all these spider-mans and everything i mean this whole thing is pretty spectacular oh sorry you come into the hulk you know you got some hulk cards here so i just wanted to share this with you guys you know and, and enjoy this set with you guys and offer you a chance to look at them um if you guys haven't ever seen these or anything so a full box did again have 24 packs um i couldn't even find a sealed pack to for, to to like give you guys a price offering on this and so as far as that goes i didn't uh couldn't find a print and run either so that is the 1966 cards now we're going to go ahead and get into the series one 1990 marvel superheroes so this set um the first half of the box was dedicated to individual cards. As you can tell, you had your superheroes, you know, you had your Hulk, your uh, Captain America, your Spider-Man, Daredevil, Nick Fury, you, you kind of go on that line. You had five hollows for the set. There was one hollow per sealed box, so you could only get 
one of these in a box. So if you got the same, you would have to go through at least five different boxes to get these five different cards. Um, as of right now, uh, if you're looking at a pack of this stuff, it's anywhere from like 50 to 60 bucks. And then the sealed boxes are anywhere from $1,200 to $2,500. I saw one on eBay going for auction at about 1100 and there's another one that has a buy it now at 1500 Everything else is about two grand and up. So, I mean, those are the prices at this point. I mean, there was like a couple months ago, I was looking at them at $250, $300. And I was like, man, those are expensive. I should buy these. And now they're a couple grand, you know? So, I mean, just looking at things in perspective is always hindsight 2020, I guess. But let's keep going through the cards. Uh, you have, you know, Thor, you have Hulk, Black Panther. That's super cool to have. Aunt May is super cool. And so check it out. I mean, like when you, with these cards, they have on the back kind of statistics, her real name, her group affiliation, her height, her weight, her pleas, her pies baked was 984 pies baked, man. Her meals served was 11,743 wrinkles on the face too many to count life-threatening illness recovered from 23 so aunt may has been through the ringer man and she definitely survived all of it huh her first appearance was amazing fantasy number 15 in august of 1962 so if you guys want to pause and read the rest of that card you're more than welcome to but check it out i mean like that's the whole thing on the back of all these cards you can look at the back of them you know that's uh so check it out you know what? I know this guy's super old submariner. I was looking into some of his comics because those comics are not, not cheap. Let's go with, uh, let's see here. Nicknames, Subby, the Avengic Sun. So win percentage. First appearance is Marvel Comics number one, October 1939. So these cards are really bringing all like the superheroes back into play. Kind of giving you like a, a look into ev the whole history of everything so there is a series two uh and a series three and they don't look quite as classic as this art you know what i mean so i looked into the series two and the series three and they're cool they're cool you know what i mean but i mean they're not this cool i mean you got like the human torch you got silver surfer i mean these cards are these cards are amazing you know what i mean you got some real real sweet sweet pulls in here you got the super villains obviously magneto it's going to go through there is 162 card set so 162 cards plus your five hollows um you got thanos you know what i mean he's rising in price i know like i just saw once ungraded sold for like 25 30 bucks so i mean all these cards are actually going up in price as far as the uh the just single individual cards you have your then the second half is dedicated to like famous battles and then your team pictures and everything so right here you have like you know daredevil versus bullseye you have captain america versus red skull you have your fantastic four versus dr doom the fantastic four versus galacticus you know what i mean you have all your cards spider-man versus i mean i'm just gonna pull this out just because i mean i mean look at that your spider-man versus dr octopus you know what i mean so and then it turns around you know when the amazing spider-man number 53 to 56 numbers 53 to 56 so it was a multiple comic battle comic battle um 1967 october to december of 1967 to january of 1968 uh where in new york city dr octopus had committed the crime of the century he had stolen the defense department's new weapon the nullifier even worse spider-man had helped him or so it appeared after doc ock had used the device to rob Spidey of his memory and convince him that he, too, was a supervillain. But Octopus's plan to use Spider-Man as a criminal pawn ended when the two had a brutal falling out, which ended up with the nullifier back in the army's hands. Spider-Man escaped, but it was not until much later that he regained his memory back in 1968. I mean, things like that are just super classic. You know what I mean? So that is kind of why we've been uh, looking into these sets. So I just wanted to take you a trip down to this whole Marvel Marvel set. I mean, there's a there's a lot to go with it. Um, they have, I mean, sweetness to all of them. I'm actually pretty astounded 
uh, astounded and amazed by all the artwork that's on these cards. Because I look at Magic cards, I look at Pokemon cards, I look at all that. And I love comics and everything. So it's just pretty cool to have all that comic artwork right on your card. Right on your card. So just just sweet you got the punisher over here you got some wolverine the x-men they're definitely part of the whole marvel series you got your team pictures with the avengers the fantastic four coming in with the x factor i mean you got x-men you got your cloak and dagger here's all your team pictures and then you would have like different parts of comic series you know what i mean comic series art so you would have different parts of this set so like here magneto when do you, why do you hate the X-Men so much? I don't know. I just find myself strangely attracted to them. That's a little magnetic human that humor there. Because, <laughs> you know, Spidey does all of his interviews. You would have the back. How come your kids, <laughs> Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch, turned out to be good guys? I'm a failure as a father. Wow. Pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty classic little uh, <laughs> card to pull out there as far as that one goes. So you see what I'm saying? So it's cool how the set came out. You would have a little bit of your comic. You would have little team pictures. You would have little battles. You would have little individual heroes and villains. So it was cool to see the whole difference in how they made the Marvel set. And then in the very end of this thing, as far as the Marvel goes, this is my girlfriend's binder video, by the way. So after this, we do have some magic stuff for y'all who, who are here in the end. Get to see some really cool stuff here. Um, Stan Lee's mr marvel card is pretty sweet so i mean they made him his own card and this thing is actually going for like upwards of 50 to 60 bucks so not a bad little pickup if you guys want to start looking into these things it's not a bad little investment as far as uh this goes because it is going to continue to rise i feel i feel over time these things are going to either start to get graded or continue to just stay in those hands you know what i mean so let's get into some magic stuff uh we had some things pulled out because we are going to get some stuff graded we're trying to figure out what we want to do so we do have the jade monolith i think that is a beta um we got an alpha tunnel it looks like we got i think she had a, got an alpha and a beta healing salve and it looks like that is our alpha and that is our beta uh you're going with a nice little arabian nights bird maiden it's always a sweet card um she got the underground c we had a graded one but we do want to get this one graded so that one is going to be going in for grading soon i'm going to be doing a, a grading video soon so sending in some cards and i'm going to go under the loop with the camera show you guys what we feel is gradable and why we feel it's gradable and uh, what we're looking at and everything so i hope you guys stay tuned for that video that's going to be coming up she got an alpha of fear uh the copy artifact always a classic i mean revised card and the vesuvian doppelganger is definitely a must I mean, if you're looking at revised cards, those are definitely musts as far as, like, your whole collection go. So, this is her, and I'm still looking for one of these because I don't have one of those. Because I'm like, man, I need to get one, but I kind of induced her. I'm like, you should get one of these. So, she, she got one, and now we have one in the collection, so it's kind of sweet. But, but yeah, here's the, here's the final page, guys. This... This is her, her like pride and joy right here. So she's actually got another one of these coming in, but the All Hallows Eve. Look, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pull this out. And guys, this card right here, it's gonna be a thousand dollar card soon. So if if you if you look at the if you look at the trends and how everything's going, and how these cards are going away so fast. I mean, this right here, this this is this is one of that we're gonna send in for grading. I mean. It looks pretty great. If you look at all the edges, it looks pretty clean. Might be a little, little tap up there in that left-hand corner, but I mean, the the surfaces look great. The back looks great. The centering is pretty solid. I mean, it might be a little heavy to the top comparatively to the bottom. Might be a little ding down there right there, but it, it doesn't seem like it's much. So I don't know how, how bad this is going to go. Maybe a nine, but we're going to look at it under the loop, and we're going to look at a bunch of things. So... We'll show you guys what we think, you know what I mean? So we're going to go through that. Um, the Mox Jet Collector's Edition. Uh, this thing's, the Collector's Edition cards are jumping rapidly. And the Collector's Edition is going to be a huge thing to park some money in. I mean, if you guys want to invest in some cards or if you want to still play, I mean, if you guys are trying to play some old cards, I mean, you guys are big ballers, but I ain't trying to play that card right now. I'm trying to just keep it as safe as it can. 
But like that kind of thing, the Mox Diamond, the Mox Diamonds anywhere. If you're looking for mile play, that's 450 at this point. It used to be a 400 for good ones, but I mean now the 750, 650 to 750 you're looking at for like a true near near mint card. You know what I mean? The Earth binds are starting to go away. This is an Alpha Earth bind. You know what I mean? Those things are all going up. The sun, the sunglasses of Urza, another collector's edition. These cards are all raising in price. And I mean, if you guys want to start getting on it, now is the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Mahalo for checking it out, man. And aloha, guys. Bless.